Peplink has at last revealed the details of their upcoming 5G product line, including the 5G version of our perennial top pick, the Max Transit. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, here to give you an update on a Peplink's uh, line of cellular integrated routers. They have at last revealed their new 5G lineup that will be coming to market, potentially shipping in the next few weeks, if not few months. Um, so, wow, you can at last get 5G integrated cellu cellular integrated routers with you know some of our favorite designs. Is it worth it? Are, what's the specs? What's different? Is there anything major and new? Well, starting at the bottom of Peplink's product line, you've got the, the bottom of their 5G product line, it's still pretty advanced, is the Pepwave Max Transit 5G. So this is a new version of the Pepwave Max Transit, which has been one of our top picks for years now. And what makes it new is, well, not a whole lot. It is basically internally exactly the same, externally exactly the same. They've just changed out the modem module from the CAT18 version of this with a CAT20 slash 5G more advanced modem module, so more future-proof modem module. So nice potential upgrade, but it is $250 more than the CAT18 version. So the CAT18 version is $749. The CAT Max Transit 5G, more advanced modem, more future-proof modem, is $999. The other very popular version of the Max Transit that a lot of our audience really, really loves is the Max Transit Duo with two CAT12 modems. So instead of one modem in here using all four cellular antennas in a 4x4 MIMO configuration, so one cellular connection at a time, the Max Transit Duo has a lower end CAT12 modem that uses two antenna ports per modem, so both modems can be online at the same time, and you can have bonding or instant switchover between two different carriers. So the, the Max Transit CAT12 Duo is also $999. So you've got some interesting trade-offs. Do you want two modems for $9.99 or one next generation 5G modem for $9.99. Only you can decide how much redundancy you need versus how much peak potential performance. So that's kind of what's new with the Max Transit 5G. It is internally still the same, um, same Wi-Fi capabilities, same actually kind of last generation um, routing performance capabilities and whatnot. So we're, we're kind of hoping that Pepwave would have um, done a major generational shift with this, but it is yeah, not a huge, huge shift, just a new modem module. Now, the rest of Pepwave's, um, the Peplink product line of uh, new 5G routers, they've got the Balance 310 5G. Now, this is a kind of a bigger router intended for branch offices that is got a 5G modem in it and a CAT12 modem in it. So you've got six antenna ports worth of modems, two modems in a 5G device, um, but this device has, since it's intended for branch offices that would have, you know, distributed Wi-Fi access points, it actually has no Wi-Fi built into it, and it costs $19.99, so $1,000 more for that extra capability. And, well, then, if you really, really want to go to town, their flagship devices are the HD4 MBX 5G. This is their monster, mega, do-everything uh, router with Wi-Fi and up to four 5G um, modems in it, and that one is, well, it's basically $12,000 if you fully load it. So oh, not really intended for mere mortals or most normal mobile RV or cruiser installations. Now, let's talk specifically about this new modem that they're putting into here. We believe it is used based on the Qualcomm X55 modem chipset, which is a very, very capable modem. It's the same modem that's inside the iPhone 12 and um, many other of last year's uh, cellular 5G devices. So it's got a lot of great capabilities. Um, it will support the C-band um, network, the uh, C-band spectrum that is going to be rolling out later this year. So it's future-proof in that regard. Um, and it is, you know, when it's in 4G mode, it is a CAT20 modem. So it's going to perform really, really well um, across the board and do a lot of interesting things. They actually say that their peak... Uh, 5G performance of this modem is 4 gigabits per second down and 700 megabits per up, or in 4G mode, 2 gigabits per second down and 150 megabits per second up. So this is a beast of a modem. But then you consider like a device like the Max Transit 5G, this the CPU in here can only process 400 megabits per second of performance anyway, so you're not necessarily going to be able to really, really take advantage of the peak of what 5G networks are capable of on a device like this. So that kind of leaves 
we have potential customers have in a quandary of do you want to wait because the the 5g modems that come out a year from now will be cheaper faster they'll have more capabilities some really interesting technical capabilities that we check our article to understand further um and well by the time that these devices are out a year from now the 5g networks will start be starting to evolve to actually deliver some of this performance that the raw chipsets are capable of or well do you buy now to future proof now so for most people it probably still makes sense to keep waiting for before investing a lot in 5g gear the stuff you'll be able to buy a year from now better faster cheaper and well you know, the Cat 12 Duo version of this, we still think is probably the most flexible for most people. And if you only need a single modem, the Cat 18 version saves you 250 bucks. And put that in your 5G kitty for future upgrades. So that's our advice for right now. And we will keep tracking this stuff as it comes to market. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.